In Texas, a judge heard arguments today in a case about whether a commonly used abortion pill should be sold in the U.S. And depending on his ruling, access to the medication could be curtailed across the country. A conservative group argued the safety of the abortion pill was never properly studied, even though it's been approved for use for 20 years. Our Washington Bureau Chief Jackson Prosco is watching the case. Jackson. Donna, this case has potentially wide-ranging implications for abortion access across the U.S., even in states where abortion is still fully legal. A conservative Christian group in Texas asked a judge to order the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to pull the abortion drug mefeprestone off the market. That's significant because medical abortions using drugs, not surgery, make up about half of pregnancy terminations in the U.S. The group behind the lawsuit argued the drug should never have been approved, claiming it didn't go through proper safety evaluations, an argument the judge seemed to entertain. Methoprestone has been used with a high success rate for more than two decades in the U.S. and around the world. It's considered so safe it can actually be prescribed by telehealth and sent by mail in the United States. Its removal from the market would have serious impacts. It isn't crazy to think that if you can make a case that somehow the FDA, which is one of the world's best I think, regulatory agencies on drugs and therapeutics, that if you can make a case that they somehow were not thinking about the safety and that this was all too rushed, why not make that argument for every reproductive drug such as birth control? It's worth pointing out this case was specifically brought up in a jurisdiction where it would be heard by a judge who has a track record of anti-abortion statements, a practice known as judge shopping. The hearing wrapped with the judge saying a final ruling will come in the next few days. The losing side is all but certain to appeal right up to the Supreme Court. Ever since the fall of Roe v. Wade, anti-abortion groups have been looking to chip away at the few remaining legal avenues for reproductive care using tactics exactly like this. There's real concern about the precedent this case could set in allowing a judge to interfere in regulatory decisions made by a government agency, especially when it comes to access to certain medicines. Donna? All right, Jackson in Washington, thank you.